Hey guys, Dan with Astro T here. Today we are talking about uh, the Mercury retrograde that's coming up in August. So the shocking news I think is going to continue and I think this Mercury retrograde is going to be a little more intense than the normal ones that happen like three to four times a year with just those basic, you know, okay, having computer glitches, things not you know, communication things going down, maybe our phone's not working, computer's not working. I think it's going to be a lot more intense because of the aspects it's going to be making um, during this period. So um, we begin the pre-shadow period. Um, we began it on the uh, July 16th. So that was the Mercury pre-shadow. Uh, it started um, on July 16th, that was one day after the Mars Uranus conjunction. We all know what happened then. And if you don't, definitely check the video. I'll put some links in the description so you guys can check back and see everything that we talked about that was going to happen. Trump being um, an attempted assassination, I kind of pointed that out. Didn't really want to, but it was there. And the things actually happened. So, um, going through, we're really going to look at you know, wow, what is this going to bring. So that is what happened with the Mars Uranus conjunction. Um, but then this station happened or this um, pre-shadow period is happening the day after is when it starts. So the shadow period is the time when Mercury is at the degree that it is going to move back to during the retrograde. So this is at 21 degrees Leo and um, so this period gives us sneak peeks of what to expect during the retrograde. So it's going to be at 21 degrees Leo. We're moving forward now. So we're still moving direct. And then once it goes retrograde, it is going to move back to 21 degrees Leo and then back forward again. So everything in that path is going to have Mercury pass it three times. So. Um, ultimately, during the retrograde cycle, it passes those degrees to direct as we're going direct now. It's going to pass the same degrees going retrograde and then again going direct. So one major configuration that I think an aspect that is going to be a major player in this Mercury retrograde, which is why I think this one's going to be a little more intense than others. Um, is because Mercury is going to square Uranus. So we have Mercury here and we have Uranus over here and it's going to be in a square. So now it already hit the first square. So it, the first square happened actually during its pre-shadow period, which is happening right now at uh, on the 21st of um, July. So what else happened on the 21st of July? That was Sunday and that was the time of the full moon in Capricorn. And so what we talked about during the full moon in Capricorn video is that um, I thought, so being uh, about power and those in power and um, kind of a, even a takedown of authority because the full moon, that's its culmination. And then, you know, going down that waning cycle is taking down those in power. So, and then a sudden shock and surprise with this, you know, shocking, surprising news Mercury, Uranus is Uranus, shock and surprise, and of course, Mercury news and, you know, communications and, you know, uh, things like that coming up. So with both of these happening on the same day, what did we see on Sunday? Well, we saw someone in power, and that is our current president, bowing out of the race, the um, presidential race for the next term. So which I kind of said in that video that I thought was going to happen. And then he actually um, endorsed his vice president to be the new nominee. So which again is what I pretty much said. So, um, and this was all happening together. So that happened one day before, um, or it happened uh, one day after he had come out on Saturday and said he was in the race, he was going to win and all confident. And then the next day, shock and surprise, something sudden, that Uranus, something sudden, getting knocked off kind of it, that power. So that was that getting knocked off power. It just happened suddenly. And we saw that 
kind of play out, you know, just so obviously with what happened on Sunday with him dropping out. And the other thing that I found especially poignant about it is that he did this all over Twitter. So, you know, this is Uranus and is about, you know, that kind of, you know, internet and new technology. And I guess Twitter's not new technology, but you know what I mean, it's technology. And then um, Mercury is the news that way. So we got the news via Twitter. It wasn't just on TV, how you normally see it, him having a conference, like in the Oval Office, staying there, you know, my fellow American. No, he did it via Twitter. And it's like, what? This is exactly what the astrology kind of said was going to happen. Something crazy was going to come out um, in this technological type of way. So, um, <clears throat> so we also to kind of get off the political for a second. Um, a couple days prior to this, um, to this square, we saw uh, what was called the crowd strike outage, and um, which caused a shutdown um, and cancellations in a lot of the travel industry, including you know delays with airlines, delays, you know flight cancellations and craziness like that. Um, it especially kind of resonated with me because in my everyday profession, um, I deal with ground transportation and that is providing transportation back and forth to airports. So things were changing constantly over the weekend. Things just changed, changed, changed. Cancellations, cancellations, we're still seeing that. So we see those glitches in the system where it caused um, these outages. So again, that you know, Mercury, Uranus, that Uranus really, you know, throwing a wrench into things. Um, so uh, that was the first pass. Don't forget, this is during its pre-shadow period. So what does this mean? The pre-shadow period is a glimpse of what's going to happen during the actual retrograde itself. So what's going to happen during the retrograde? So let's talk about it a little bit more. So as Mercury then stations retrograde officially, on the 5th, it's going to be at 4 degrees Virgo. So it starts at 21, goes to 4 degrees Virgo, er, stops, sits there a second, and then starts moving back. So it's going to hit all those points again that it hit before. So we can expect that similar events are going to take place. They might be similar, they might play out a little bit differently, but I think it's going to be really interesting to see. And what's extremely interesting, I feel, is that um, it moves back Mercury into that same square, retrograding into the same square with Uranus on the 18th, and that is one day before the Democratic National Convention. So all this all of this stuff going on the stars is just coinciding with all of these political, these huge political things, just like the um, Mars Uranus conjunction that was right starting on, you know, exact on the Republican National Convention. It's like, stars, what are you trying to tell us here? <laughs> like, what's happening? So, um, I think that, you know, we might see some shocks and surprises that come along with that. Um, like with the first square, we saw the president, you know, this is the Mercury square, we saw the president um, bow out of the race, you know, and that was with the full moon too. Um, so what will happen with the new nominee? Is she actually going to be who they nominate? Is that who they're going to or is something going to happen? Um, are they going to reconfirm that? during the convention that yes, she is going to be our nominee or are going to restart all over again. So this is, you know, retrograde. So we got a lot of re's going on, restarting, reconfiguring, um, you know, so all that might happen and I wouldn't be surprised if that happened shortly before um, the convention. Um, again, back to the electrical issues. Um, this could be on an even larger scale. So that whole thing with the airlines could have been just a sneak peek that, you know, something might, um, it might get a virus in the system that could uh, really 
her our electric grids because you know mercury and uranus throws electric and we have this then happening in virgo and um uranus in taurus so that is you know those earthy signs and so i think you know what's going to happen or um and then we actually have them in leo and taurus as well because it's going to be going back and forth so it's still um it will be going back into Leo by that time. So it will be a lot of fire and earth. So I think that we might see, you know, electrical grids burning or, you know, maybe a bolt of lightning taking something out um, that's really going to take out some communication, disruptions in communication. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, the third and final time as Mercury then stations to go back direct when it hits that 21st degree again stations to go back direct um, it will hit the final time during its post shadow period on September 7th so again it's going to hit that square with Uranus again for the third and final time on September 7th so if you're traveling I would really advise to keep an eye on flights, flight delays, cancellations, call, 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 you know, call the airline, call your ground transportation company because a lot of times they can help you because I know we did for a lot of people. Um, but you know that you can track these things online. You just Google it, look it up. And but if Google's down, then what do you do? So just make sure you're keeping an eye because you don't want to go all the way to the airport if it's going to be canceled or delayed. Um, because I think this is really going to continue being kind of a roller coaster ride of an election cycle as well. So I think you just need to buckle up, um, especially since the last pass will be a day before the sun opposite Saturn in the Virgo Pisces axis. So we have um, Virgo Pisces and we have sun and Saturn in opposition. So somebody's light might be diminishing who is that gonna be so it's gonna be interesting to kind of run a lot of the charts to see somebody who's on top that's a shining star are they going to kind of be taken down a little bit as well um, with this last pass something suddenly happening so that that person who's the shining star might not be such a shining star anymore um, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out anyway so We'll have a full monthly preview on Friday coming out with all of this um, to just kind of explain the whole month. And if you didn't see the Mars Uranus, um, the Mars Uranus conjunction episode, I will put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to the description in the um, in the Capricorn full moon. So you'll see where I kind of say, OK, looks like Trump might be getting, you know, something bad might happen. And that did happen. And then with, um, with Biden bowing out and I just, I pretty much called that saying, you know, he was going to bow out. And, um, so hopefully things won't get much worse, but I think things uh, are going to be very interesting. So stay tuned folks, definitely hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow and hit the notification bell because there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff coming up, checking everybody's charts out and keeping up with the news. So I will talk to you all soon. Bye.